Hey guys, this is Control at KCAD. I'm going to do uh, two different looks on St. Patrick's Day, or maybe three, I don't know. So, I know St. Patrick's Day has colors like dark green, like, oh, it's a medium green, light green, and gold. So, I'm going to put like gold right here in the, in the corner, and right here the light green in the crease like a little bit of medium or or, or a little bit of dark gray here but I'm gonna use a blending brush which I do have two extra three which I have three of course which is my suit of my Revlon Crease br Blending Brush, my Petal Beauty Blending Brush, and also Soho Blending Brush. I'll probably use these just in case it's color. So, yeah, let's get started. But the greens I'm going to use is from my 120 um, color palette eyeshadow from BH Cosmetic. Okay, the green I'm going to use for the light green kind of color would be uh, uh, let me see. will be just there. Oh, and there goes that. Sorry, one of my eyeshadow flew out. Which is this. It flew out. I had to get another one or just throw this sucker in. I'm going to take it out and stick. I'm debating which screen I'm going to use. Uh, I'll use these two greens. I mean, these two greens in the outer corner. Which is these two colors in the outer corner. This one in the crease. I don't know if you can see the color. And then a little bit in the outer corner. A little some red green color. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to put my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use my Urban Decay in Grease. I haven't used that a long, long time. Well, not a long time, but a long You know what I mean. Because I've been using my next. And this, the color, I don't know if you've seen the primer or you bought one on your own. Uh, this primer is like a shimmery gold color. And I'm bringing it up to the eyebrow. Uh, yeah, you might get some on your your fingers, so I'm wiping off with a paper towel. I'll wash my hands. Okay, next I'm gonna do is put the base. I don't know why, I, even though it's the wrinkle color, I just like to put this to make stick it more. I'm gonna use my Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo metal in Gold Rush, which is this.
In fact, I'm probably going to use it on the brush to start my fingers. I'll blend it out with my fingers. like that. I don't know if you can see that. And there we go. Okay. Next, I'm going to use my smoky um, eye brush that I got from Walgreens. It's like this. Of course, take that zoom and color it out that I show y'all. Just gonna put a little bit more. Okay. And just blend it out with your finger. like that okay 
Next, it's your pencil brush. Um, please, uh, and also get that dark green I was showing you. I'm getting that dark green. Like that. I know I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I like how I'm doing with my makeup. So if you don't like it, then no worries. Like that. Get your burning brush and spread it out. like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my well the concealer brush as an eyeshadow brush and I really don't use uh, concealer in my eyes you can see. Like that. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but sorry, I put the makeup on my mirror on my face again. Sorry. Of course, I'm using my Maybelline Pure Pay Mix and Wild Gold. This time, using a different brush.
like that. And of course, I'm bringing the color together. And of course, I'm going to highlight to like tone it down a bit. I'm using my black heart nude dice sort of color. There is to tilt down the, the crane a bit. I'm going to use my black card beauty liquid liner. Of course, it's in black. I haven't used this for a while. I know it's going to be But I want to try it to see how it looks. You can get this a Hot Topic, Garter, website, Black Beauty Heart, but this will be a Hot Topic. Of course, I'm getting tape and then my wing liner would be easier that way. You just have to stick it in your guys right hand like that. So can I lose? Oh. The reason I'm saying that because it'll help you.
I can't even tell it's the same right now. But oh, like I said, I'm practicing or I'm trying because I can see. I'm probably going to get time to text soon. Hopefully. And um, you can see that I'm not going on there. It's a little bit small, but that's all I wanted. I don't want it too big or too dramatic. Like that, and of course, I'm gonna get it q tip to clean up the edges. Okay, next I'm going on to mascara. And of course, my all time favorite mascara ever is the Cover Growth Clump Crusher. I tried the Lash Brush in the orange bottle, and then when I put it on, it's a little bit clumpy, and I don't like that. But this I really like a lot.
and of course I'm always gonna put my When I come back from the movies, I'll clean this stuff up. But now I do not have time. everything now because I'm putting on my makeup spray which I'm so glad I bought it which is my Urban Decay D Slick makeup set brain or control which I do have oily skin but I use um let me get it real quick which is this of course this is control my oh that got on me it, that's to control the oily skin on my face. So, let me shake it out. And of course, this is what you have to do. I'm going to put a little bit on my finger because I'm oh, sorry. I can't say that, but. I'm going to do it one more time. And this really... And that's it. That's the complete look of my St. Patrick's Day look. I'll get up close so you can see. Yeah, I don't do my eyebrows. I know it looks a little black. Oh. So, thank you for watching and comment below if you want to see your next St. Patrick's Day look or not. But I'm going to do it anyway. And please don't leave any rude comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.